Hello, I'm here to talk about season two of Kid Cosmic on Netflix. I talked about, I guess I made like an impressions video of season one back in February. I guess that's when it first came out. I think it feels more like about three years, give or take. Here we have season two, eight episodes per season. So they're pretty swift. You can move through them pretty quickly. I watched season two in just a day. So forgive me if I'm, if I'm talking about things too soon after watching and there's a bit of recency bias in the mix. But my overall thoughts or, or feelings, rather, about season two of Kid Cosmic is that it, I loved it. I, I <laughs> maybe, maybe loved it, maybe just really, really liked. Maybe a week from now, I won't be quite as excited about it. But at least on first watch, I don't know. I guess it did evolve in certain ways compared to season one. In particular, I think some of the character work and just character development that we see over the course of the season. This is more or less Joe's season. She is kind of the center of everything. She's learning how to be a leader, which was definitely a subplot in season one, but there wasn't a ton of time for it, and then just plot stuff got in the way, I feel like. But this time around, obviously they're doing a separate storyline with each season, but I think it works really well here. Obviously the whole show is based on classic comic books, and in particular I wanted to say something about how this is ultimately a superhero story, and while I usually don't dig superhero stuff at all, this works for me. Like, this, I get. And I think a lot of that has to do with tone. It's not to say that uh, comic books themselves doesn't also have this more fun uh, upbeat tone, but for whatever reason, ever since the the Chris Nolan Batman era, even, even the Marvel stuff, which is a bit more jokey, it's still very serious in the end. It's about doing serious things. Some of the spinoffs have been a little bit more creative. Long story short, this is superhero stuff that I really enjoy because the characters are at the center of it all. None of the, like, big exposition and sort of world uh, impacting stuff feels burdensome. It's never too much. You can follow along with it easily. You understand what the stakes are every step of the way. None of it gets in the way of character stuff and their relationships with each other, which are certainly in this season the most entertaining part of the whole thing. Uh, in terms of the animation itself, it's the same style of season one, of course, although being out in space gives us many more opportunities to get Get some creative and colorful backdrops and planets and environments. I still really enjoy the animation. Um, even just simple stuff like character posture, I feel, does a lot of work on this show. Everybody's just, yeah, body language does a lot. <laughs> to uh, In addition to the wonderful voice acting, like I can't find a single voice actor associated with the show whose performance I don't enjoy here. I've talked about this in some other shows that I've watched recently that I won't name here, but bad voice acting or purposefully bad voice acting as like a joke, it's like an in-joke of the creative team behind the show. It doesn't work for me, and it tends to get on my nerves probably more than it should, but here, I, I think everyone does an excellent job. I always believed that they were really their characters, there was no divide between the performance and who we've come to know the character to be. In particular, and I don't think this is a spoiler, but if you watch season one, yeah, these, there are these special space rocks that give you different powers, and in this season, that idea is a expanded on so much, or at least like iterated on, I guess. The stones are constantly getting swapped around like tokens, and it's such a cool idea for a superhero-based storyline, because on the one hand, there's just the stupid fun of like getting to see one character who's known for a specific type of power, get to try out one or more different powers and in different situations, and you get to see how they each use that power. It's not like each power is completely determines how it's used. Used. Uh, so again, it, it all comes back to character stuff. It's just fun to see uh, characters getting put in very different situations, especially empowering situations in a lot of cases. There's some other fun visual stuff in a few episodes, uh, since it's all about Joe's arc, ultimately. In a couple episodes, they use Joe's hair to sort of give a visual clue as to whether she's leaning more towards one leadership style or the other. Just really subtle stuff that's done very well. But most of the time, and I guess this is kind of my summary of many maybe not just season two, but the entire run of Kid Cosmic thus far, which is just, with a few exceptions, basically none of the ideas that are put on display here, whether they're ideas related to plot or threat and stakes or to character, these are not new ideas at all. We have seen almost all of this before in some other form. However, the execution and the energy of all this stuff together just make it, it just makes it go down smooth. And it's just 
fun. It's not the deepest show. It's it's not going to have the biggest emotional impact ever. It's not the funniest show either. But it's fun, at least this season. You know, it's it's fun space adventures that I haven't been able to find anywhere else recently. It was just a good time. And I don't think I get that a whole lot from brand new animated shows, at least over the last year or two. And I could go on and on, but I, I think that's more or less the gist here. It is more of the same in a lot of ways, but if you already even kind of liked what they were doing with season one, this is more, and it's definitely expanded in a couple aspects as well. And execution is... I don't know, almost flawless for what it is. They have a style, they stick to it. It's very in your face, but also non-threatening. Thanks for joining me for this short little video. Okay, bye. <laughs>